good team. Easy G. Easy G. Easy G. Easy. Easy ho. Hey folks, Josh here. Today we're going to be using our team of standard bread percherons to harvest firewood for the production of our maple syrup. You can try some of our wood-fired organic maple syrup for yourself at RuggedRidgeForest.com. This particular stand is very steep and tightly packed with maple regeneration. For that reason, logging with horses is the ideal method of harvest to remove the diseased beech while preserving the maple within the stand. One of the key benefits of working with horses is the narrow path they operate within, as well as their small hoof print on the soil. Horses can move completely sideways and squeeze through narrow gaps, unlike wheeled machines which need room for long, gradual turns. This allows our team to utilize a very narrow path to get the timber out preserving more seedlings and saplings, which gives the stand a head start regenerating. Additionally, their sporadic footfalls and relatively low body weight does very little to compress the soil, constricting tree roots, or rutting it up, exposing it to the potential of erosion. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. It is very important that we have good control of the team and the tree. We also take a lot of pride in a clean logging job. This includes leaving limbwood in the forest to give fertility to the future stand and not damage smaller trees on the way out. Ready? Good team. Good team. Good team, good team. Instead of the roar of heavy equipment, soft words and loud breaths allow us to communicate with the team. It's amazing how responsive they are to the tone of your voice and the effort that they're willing to give you. Control on the descent is equally if not more important than power on the flat or the ascent. The ability to control the load going downhill and walk calmly and smoothly behind the animals is really crucial to everybody's safety, ours and the horses. There's quite an elaborate vocabulary that we use working with the horses that they've come to understand and each subtle word and cue helps them to get a better gist of what exactly is being asked of them at any given moment. In addition to the basic commands, G for right, HA for left, WO for stop, and CH for get up, we've also included AND WO to let the horses know that we're going to be asking them to stop. Also, READY. Saying ready before the forward command allows the horses to sync up. That way they both take off with equal power and keep a nice balanced evener as they pull the log. We also use a lot of easies, which remind the horse to tone it down, take it nice and chill and smooth and easy. Oh, 
Jordan's been doing a great job helping us fell this year. Hildy is the black mare on the left side of the team. She's a 10-year-old standard bred Percheron, and she spent the first seven years of her life working with Yamash. She's well broke every which way, very sweet, very gentle, and an earnest worker. Hugo, on the right side of the team, is also a standard bred Percheron. And after buying him from the Amish at two, I have done all of his training here on the ridge. He's a really wonderful horse who's coming along amazingly well. He's also been pulling harder and more smoothly. With horses, we're able to snake the logs between the trees with a level of precision that would be impossible with the machine. On this job, they really impressed me with how assertively they charged right up the hill and how nimbly they turn themselves around in tight situations. It really is a beautiful chunk of woods we have the privilege of working in. Every so often, Hugo reminds us that he's still a young horse and gets a little spunky. But 99 times out of 100, he does not amazing. The important thing is that when they spook, you don't spook, and you guide them with calm confidence through the problem. Logging with horses requires supreme trust on both sides of the lines. The horses have to trust us that we aren't going to put them in an unsafe situation. They also trust us that we'll never set them up to fail. Likewise, we have to put supreme trust in them, that they will stop when we ask, go where we point, and not hurt us intentionally or accidentally. It's truly a beautiful thing. 
Backing you up is a very important skill in horse logging and all horse work. Moving backwards isn't very natural for them, but it's very important for us when maneuvering them into position. This is also quite a complex pull. This small beech tree is a bit hung up, and this will be Hugo's first time pulling off the stump. There will be a bit of a crash, and it's important that he doesn't spook, or it could be a very dangerous situation. Hildy is such a rock star. Sometimes I think she might even speak English. Ready? Hugo's first time pulling off the stump. How do you think he did? And here is his second attempt. Ready? This was one of the biggest and most complex logs of the job, but they did wonderfully. My God, they're amazing. This too was a very complex pull. We first asked them to step off the trail and over a frozen log. From there, we had to turn them around and back them up to a hill, nearly a cliff. Over that cliff was a beech tree that we were trying to get out. I told the guys that if the horses didn't go for it, it wasn't worth the risk to push too hard in that circumstance, but that we would give it one earnest effort and then back off. And hope. Backing up is one of the hardest things for a horse, especially with obstacles such as deep snow, hills, and in this case a submerged log. Hugo really was patient and gave it his all and did a wonderful job. Truth be told, that couldn't have gone any better. The horses trusted us to set them up for success, and they made it look easy. We started off with a long chain to reach the tree without getting them too close to the slope. Now that we are on flat ground, we're going to shorten the chain. This improves the angle of draft and gives the horses more control, as well as a mechanical advantage. By pulling up on the log as well as forward, there is substantially less friction and the log is more responsive to every twitch as we extract it. Walk on is a cue that I use after the directional cue, when the horses are pointed in the right direction to set them off on their way. Hugo is still learning to give to pressure in uncertain situations, and has this habit of giving me his head without giving me his body. Regardless, I'm trying to get him to pull the log into the center of the trail so that it doesn't rub trees on its way out. And after a bit of back and forth, he nails it. Easy. And Easy. 
It is always less ideal to pull a log by the skinny end, but sometimes you have no choice. The chain is more likely to slide off, and most of the weight is far from the horses, not being lifted by the angle of draft and resisting their side-to-side -side motion as you twitch the log out. Additionally, in this moment, Hugo ducked his head under Hildy's lines and got himself a little tangled. Thankfully, I noticed they were a bit unresponsive and was able to remedy it before there was too much miscommunication between myself and the team. If a logger were motivated to put up as much wood as quickly as they could, they would have no problem dragging that beach around that maple, creating a large basal scar at the foot of the maple. We, however, are not only in the business of making and selling firewood, but crafting the finest wood-fired maple syrup, and that maple is our bread and butter. For that reason, we are taking the extra moment to cut the top off that beach and fling it wide. Logging with this much care and attention to detail isn't any faster, and the extra trip isn't any easier, but the residual stand would be much more healthy and beautiful without the scarring up of our maples. As you can see, Jordan is getting into position with the PV to help lever this tree around the standing maple Ready? and protect it from any damage. Get up there, big team. What a good team. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed watching us pull some wood out of our sugar woods over here at Rugged Ridge Forest. If you liked what you saw and want to support us, we'd really appreciate it if you could head on over to ruggedridgeforest.com and grab some of our wood-fired organic pure Vermont maple syrup. We love making it and I hope you guys will love enjoying it just as much. And uh, thank you so much for your support and kind words and feedback and uh, look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you so much. Peace and love and stay well. Good team.